Today let's make this paper roll holder out of some old shelves and a uh, hexo blade and find out why it's too big. Welcome back to my shop. First of all, why is the holder so big? 
Um, I got two of these small paper rolls for cheap and I thought I'd give them a try but it turns out they're not that good in quality. The paper quality is bad and I don't like the small size. So once these are used up I'm going to get a larger paper, a larger paper roll and I built the holder to accommodate for that larger size um, and that's why it seems to be too big at the moment. What did I learn on this project? A couple of things I had to think about even though this all in all was a fairly simple project. One thing was how to cut the slots here for the rod that holds the paper and I used a combination of the Forstner bit which Drilled, which I drilled in partly um, to start the, the rounded end of the, of the slot and then use the router to cut the rest. If you don't have a router you can do this completely with a force the bit and then clean out the rest with a chisel. The surface might not be as smooth as with a router but it should be okay. And the second thing I had to think about a little was how to attach this hacksaw blade or the two pieces of hacksaw blade into this piece of wood and I decided to um, just cut a slot or a groove with the table saw and once this was done of course um, I had to find a way to attach the blade to the groove because the groove is two and a half millimeters wide and the hacksaw blade obviously is much thinner so I used some very thin cutoffs from this um, piece of wood and used it as wedges so I added some glue that glues both wood and metal um, attached it attached the hacksaw blades and then used these thin strips of wood as wedges and just put them in as long um, added them as, as far as they would go and added as many as was needed to actually attach this blade securely in the groove and that seems to be working okay one thing you have to keep in mind is that the blade has to be fairly up, fairly far up so that the paper makes contact with it. But if it's too far up, the remaining wood that's here at the top is very thin and tends to break off. So you have to find a good compromise here. And um, to, to actually make it easier for the paper to reach the cutting surface of the blade, I gave this top um, edge here a large bevel with a block plane and that seems to work fine even though this paper as I said is very bad quality so it doesn't really tear off easily but um, it goes fairly well at the perforation and I hope that once I get the better quality paper I don't have to use complete sheets all the time but that the, the hacksaw blade will actually do the cutting. All in all, this was a fairly simple project, completely out of two scrap pieces of shelves that I had standing around in the shop. This is just particle board. Obviously, that's not very pretty, but I try to make such shop improvement projects out of material that I have and don't spend money on plywood. So, I hope you liked today's video and the project, and if you do, I'd appreciate if you give it a thumbs up, if you share it with your friends, leave a comment, and if it's your first time here and you like what I do, if you subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot to me. So I hope to see you back soon. And remember, watch, learn, and then make something.